I made a video of probably within the past uh, two weeks and I'm going to put a link at the end of the video here to it and it kind of shows you some of the problems that you could encounter with um, using mortar as a to support a acrylic or fiberglass tub the bottom of the tub and this is actually what happens if you don't use it or don't do it correctly i actually have a video i found from a hotel i stayed at uh, sometime this year and uh, this is basically an acrylic tub this is a um, acrylic tub with a three-piece panel you have the tub, you have a panel, another panel, and then on the opposite side you have a panel kind of like this. And these are great for remodeling. If you're remodeling um, a home, you can actually get all these pieces through the door. Sometimes you're going to get, you know, if you just had a one-piece tub, you'd have to take the toilet out, probably the door out, the door frame out. Uh, they're hard to get in. But anyway, the purpose of this video is just to give you an idea of what going to happen if you have any type of gap underneath a bathtub or if you choose not to use any materials at all. Now there are comments I remove. Um, I believe that if you go to the link on the video you'll see one of the comments unless the person removes it in the future. But I remove some comments because uh, they could be misleading. If I feel that they are incorrect or if they, that they are, you know, it's, it's something where I'm telling you not to do something and they're saying, hey, go ahead and do it anyway. Or they make up, I, I just, I have problems with that. But sometimes I leave the comments on there anyway, hoping that the people will uh, be able to figure it out. But he, uh, he or she actually stated that usually these tubs come with some type of a support system and that the mortar isn't necessary. And um, that could be true. You could, you might not ever have a problem with that. But I've rarely came across a tub that had, and you can see this here looks like a fiberglass tub. Uh, might not be acrylic. It's it's hard hard for me to tell. This looks like fiberglass. Um, could be who knows? Maybe they're fiberglass and acrylic. But um, the even if they do have little legs on them, some type of a support. It's not uncommon to set the tub level and then have the concrete uh, maybe a little bit out to where there's a gap between the bottom of the legs and the top of the foundation. So um, it's always going to be a good idea to put something underneath it. Otherwise, you could run into what you're going to see in the next video. What we're looking at is a acrylic tub. three-piece panels, pretty common tub for remodeling. Now here's what's going to happen. Let's see if you can hear it. I'm going to put the camera a little closer. Not as much over here. Put a little weight in it there. This is what's going to happen if you don't put some type of support underneath the tubs. And what I usually like for the acrylic tubs is a plaster of Paris, but you can always go with something that doesn't dry as fast if you need more workability time but there you have it I haven't uh, kind of been waiting for an opportunity to show you this for a long time and uh, it's bad news because it's usually where it cracks you'll usually see eventually it'll crack in here somewhere and then once it cracks it starts leaking water so not a good thing